Hello, Joe and Mina here, and it's so awesome to have you back on the channel. Oh. It's been another month, and over the last month we've gotten a lot of questions. Mostly about how is life possible here in Greece, because on paper and on internet it says that the whole place is locked down. And we will dedicate the whole section of this video to talk about like how we feel the rules, we answer your questions that have been sent to us throughout the month. What else are we talking about? Statistics! <laughs> we love our statistics. Yeah. Hopefully you love them as well because we're gonna start right away. So let's talk money. Uh, within the past month, we have spent a lot of it. <laughs> Not as much as last month though. That month has been much better. Uh, yes, we haven't had any fines, so that has been lovely. But yeah. we have still managed to spend 787 and something euros. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, most of it has been on the van. 360 euros. So that's been like the unexpected expenses. Very unexpected also was bakeries. Yeah. Bakeries are very essential places in Greece, even during the lockdown right now. They are still open and we have visited a few of them and spent a total of 36 euros on stuff that we actually didn't need. Yeah, so bakeries have been like our new expense. Yeah, I'll put all the other costs here, like the food and the gas and... Uh... Oh, another cool expense, 25 euros, is a campground. What an amazing experience. <laughs> we literally needed to charge up those batteries because it was bad. Like... Yeah, we had just bought the Charger. machine. Another thing that the campground did for us was it kept our water consumption low. So this month it was... 380. 380. But we did take a shower in the campground, so that saved water. We did do our laundry in the camp campground, so that saved water. Yeah, and all of the actual washings for that thing, our hair, was done either on beach showers or that campground yeah. or that was the tool for you. Uh, yeah. He has washed his hair two times within the month. They're, Three for me, two times. They're slowly turning into pretzels, so. I would say it's the opposite, that you're already getting to the point where they're starting to clean up themselves. Mm -hmm. That's almost cool, but also very disgusting. We have driven five, six, 655? 655 kilometers. kilometers. So compared to last month, that's almost 10 times less. But that's kind of how it is here in Southern Greece. Like I've said it before in the videos, there's something behind every corner. You just drive a little bit and it's so freaking beautiful that you want to spend the night. Yeah. And God, that's the beauty of traveling during Corona times. Yep, there's it's, no one else. It's, it's amazing. Else. It's utterly amazing. Uh, especially like those times when we when we are making plans on places where to go and then you open the place on Google Maps, look at the photos, you see like people everywhere on the photo and, yeah. and then you go there yourself and you're like, hmm. No one here. <laughs> Just us? Really good example about it is uh, Simos Beach. We did visit one island this month and uh, usually on high season this island has 3,000 visitors every day. Every day. It has around 300 people living on it off season. And we went there on this beach, we were alone. Oh, and in those 650 kilometers, we have seen uh, nine castles, visited nine castles. Within a month, yeah. nine. Probably seen even more. 
Probably. Uh, what we have definitely seen more is uh, churches. As Joe was saying, there's something new behind every corner. There yeah. is actually a church <laughs> behind every corner. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Yeah. They're everywhere. But we have visited only one. Uh, and uh, it was a cave inside a mountain that had been made into a church. And when I got in there, Mina was like, Oi, that's a holy hole. It was a hole. It was a hole in a cave and it was made into a church. Holy hole. It was a holy hole. So one church, one island. We almost uh, took a one cat. <laughs> we almost took a cat. We were not sure and since we were not sure, we don't, didn't want to uh, rush into it, so it didn't happen. Yeah. We had planned that three days of detox, we, we were not going to eat for 72 hours. We were uh, detoxing from the internet. No talking, no food, no internet, uh, mostly meditation. So that was three days that we took. Yeah, so three days for just ourselves. Yeah. And you don't want to spend those three days uh, trying to think about if your new cat is peeing in your van somewhere or not. Ah, uh, we've had one big, big prob problem. Which has something to do with Greek roads. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we went on this beautiful beach when it was sunny. We tried to go away from there when it was raining and uh, we got stuck, like seriously stuck. And we were close to just slipping back into the ocean. That was surreal. It took us three and a half hours and the thing that did it was uh, snow chains. It just gave us a little bit of grip to pull ourselves out of there. Uh, during the whole experience we lost our side door. Uh, fortunately we were also able to put our side door back yeah. uh, which yeah. was very fortunate because that was the coldest night during our time in yeah. Greece. Also one day when we walked a lot, <laughs> pretty much the same amount that we drive usually in a day. It was over 20 kilometers. Oh, yeah. That was nice in the mountains. Yeah, it was one of the best things we've done during our whole time in yeah. Greece. Uh, one beach day, that was the island we were talking about. Yes, which is also the uh, reason why we have significantly changed color, even though uh, a Greek guy who we are right away going to talk about a wee bit, uh, told Joe that he is looks white as cheese. Doesn't that just sound wrong? Was my first thought like, cheese is yellow, cheese is... Or no, it's not, we're in Greece feta and other Greek cheeses they're white and I was like of course in here it's not white as snow it's white as cheese white as cheese but the Greek guy the Greek guy so we had our first experience uh, seeing a Greek home from inside Christos thank you he was so welcoming he brought us food he yeah we felt we belonged here in Greece like he yeah. just opened his heart and we're gonna we, we've been doing a lot of filming with first with Christos uh, from his home uh, from the, the food experience the very ethnic food experience that yeah. he shared with us and we're gonna turn that into a separate video as soon as we've been also experiencing some more Greek food besides bakeries yeah Enough about us, we are gonna start yeah. answering your question. So first of all, just a few days ago, Greece went into stricter lockdown. That means you can't go more than two kilometers from your home to exercise. You can't cross municipality borders to even visit the store. You are not allowed outside your house without the mask. What else is there? It feels like they're like the whole place. The list is endless. Yeah. Let's put it that way. The list is endless, but yeah. how has it affected us? It hasn't. It hasn't. It hasn't. In the last month, we have not s have any encounters with the police. We're not being stupid about it. We're yeah. just laying low, living our life. 
uh, enjoying all the nature places, yeah. uh, driving very little every day. Of course, we are not gonna go and lick people. Like Mina says, we're not spreading corona. We have our masks. But uh, we're, we're <laughs> I was thinking, where were you going with this? Like Mina? Oh my that, God! That's her joke. I'm, I'm not going around licking people or anything. It, it's still the same. You have to have your form that has the code of the activity to what you're doing when you're moving around. About the form, uh, I am gonna be honest over here and say that we have stopped wasting paper. We have just one template written out. Uh, so the idea is that once, if we are stopped by the police, then I'm gonna write then the date and the time over there and let's just see what happens. Uh, we've had some specific questions as well. So first of all, we were asked about our quarantine here in Greece. But uh, nobody knows, nobody cares. The yep. short answer. Yep, because we wanted to quarantine in southern Greece when we were trying to drive to the address that we put on the paperwork. Then we were stopped by police, and they said that your address being there is no reason to drive there. So that was just fucked up for us. Beep. <laughs> but we spent the quarantine on a beach and nobody called us, nobody checked in on us. Once you're let in, you're basically fine. Yeah. Uh, our suggestion would be to find a campsite uh, close to the border. Yeah. A very important um, information bit is that not all the campsites are open in Greece. Yeah. And um, not all the borders are open. So first of all, only Greece-Bulgarian border is open for non-residents. And campsites, do your research, Google them, call them. Yeah. Second one was about the passenger locator form. So the, the paperwork that you have to do when you enter Greece. And uh, the question was, what address did you you since you traveling in a van and don't have a home so we put down like I said a caravan park that was all good nobody checked it yeah. nobody worried themselves about it so I, I would recommend you do the same just yeah that was at least our experience yeah. um, we don't see a reason why yeah. your experience should be different yep uh, third question, how is uh, lockdown restrictions affecting you? Is it hard to get around, take walks? I think we already answered it a little bit. Uh, it hasn't really affected us because we're not doing stupid things in that sense. Like we are staying in nature, we don't go to big cities. Having a walk at the beach, no one's gonna stop you. T hiking on hiking trails, there's no police control on hiking trails. Yeah, they're not gonna wait for you around the bend to to find you for not wearing a mask. Even though the rules are saying that you should wear a mask every time when you leave your home. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big walker, I go on beaches, everything. Um, Oh, a good suggestion is to like avoid being engaged in a camper van party. Yeah. Because when you're when you're creating noise and when there's a lot yeah. of you, you could disturb someone. Yep. So if you don't bother the locals, locals won't bother you. Oh, another question that we've been asked by a lot of British people is. Uh, how to get to Turkey? Because <laughs> the new Brexit laws and British people only been able to stay in Schengen country for 90 days. I'm We're so sorry for you, amigos. We're really sorry. That's it's stupid. You can't get to Turkey from Greece. It says can't. Can't. You can't. You can't. It says it on the government webpage that only land border that's open for non-Greece residents is uh, the one with Bulgaria. But you can get to Turkey... Can. 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 Yeah, but you can get to Turkey from Bulgaria. So use Bulgarian border. Yeah. Yeah. Our Two of our German friends just did it. They said it's awesome, Turkey is good. 
Yeah, we're going there as well. So see you there, amigos. And uh, if you have an, any other questions, like these were the ones that came to us at the moment, then leave them in the comments. We'll try to answer them, try to help you out as much as possible to keep you from doing the same stupid mistakes that we've done. Don't be stupid like us, yeah. be better. And um, we I, love you. I guess we'll see you on Thursday. <laughs> love ya. Bye.